Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Only see the son of Nube is my name and I hope I find you well on this Monday. Uh, I hope you had a wonderful weekend and you are looking forward to a wonderful week. Uh, I have uh, to make this broadcast to set straight a certain record that we somehow broadcast uh, in a not so correct manner based on the confusion that was happening following the minister's statement that was issued a few weeks ago where he wavered for Zimbabwean exemption permit holders the requirement for the SACA certificate and the Department of Employment and Labor certificate. So in that uh, statement the was some confusion as to whether Zimbabwean exemption permit holders did need to apply for a waiver before they can transit or such on from the ZEP, which is a special dispensation permit, to a mainstream South African permit, the general work visa. So we had come and said that you no longer need to apply for a waiver, and indeed, seven real people had already applied for the general work visa without first having to apply for a waiver or first having to obtain their waiver responses. But now it seems that that uh, was caused by miscommunication between the Department of Home Affairs and the VFS Global uh, staff because when we spoke to them, they said that, that is the VFS, they said that Zimbabweans on the ZEP no longer need to apply for a waiver before they can sojourn to the general work visa. We spoke to them and this is what they said. And then they indeed even turned away certain people that wanted to apply or who had booked appointments for the waiver. And this is one of them. I would ask you to listen to one of the people that were turned away uh, and what they had to say to us. I am Pumalana AVFS, me. Eh, losis lona uche after the directive where Pumayo, I say Christine was so apply la e waiver as long as a TP holder. So uche I must apply for e general work permit, and then after applying for e general work permit, as soon as or submit alana, eh, they con the VFS will refine everyone. Number one point five fifty la way. So yeah. So I think my choice is cut for me. Who's going to take it? I find a good general work permit. I find just pay a good. We take much that is all refined as that is on. But we make we make we make caro pata. Let me amali. I na as imali ni general work permit. As us check it. I ma abu su choice card. So that is one of the reasons why we had to come to you after we confirmed with them, and they said that. Zimbabweans on the ZEP no longer need to apply for a waiver. But now it seems that there was miscommunication or they misunderstood the minister's statement. But now we are told that this has been rectified and they have been accepting the new uh, applications. So I spoke to the minister spokesperson, that is Mr. Uh, Dwayne, who works at Home Affairs and he's the Minister spokesperson, which means he is the main is the spokesperson to the Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Leon Shepard, and this is what he said uh, in a WhatsApp message that I'm going to share with you. One needs to apply first for a waiver and await the outcome before commencing with a general work visa application. The secular that was issued by the Minister of Home Affairs is not a blanket waiver. The fee that is paid is a processing fee and no refunds will be done if a Zimbabwe exemption permit had been applied for no change to a waiver and then general a general work visa can be done that is if you applied for an extension to the ZEP you don't need to change to a waiver and then a general work visa uh, waivers are still in fact necessary that's what he said so I wrote to him and told him that apparently some ZEP applicants were turned away from VFS while trying to honor their appointments for waivers. They were told that following the minister's statement, 
they are no longer supposed to apply for waiver but apply for a general work visa some have already applied for the general work visa straight away without waiver outcomes based on that uh, so he said they need a waiver first that enables them to apply for a general work visa and then of course we went on to ask the VFS staff on what needs to be done now for those that have already applied for a general work visa without a waiver so that has been uh, a, a miscommunication there so if you have applied for a general work visa without getting a waiver outcome what you need to do now is if you have already booked an appointment you need to reschedule that it is allowed to do it if you had not paid or if you have paid for that general work visa but you had not booked an appointment you can keep it as it is then after you get your waiver outcome you can then schedule an appointment uh, if you have not yet paid for the general work visa world fort it doesn't expire that is the the, the 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 application so when you have then been given your waiver outcome and is positive you can then continue and pay for a general work visa book an appointment and then go and submit your documents i hope i'm clear there if you have already applied for a general work visa and you have paid but have not yet booked an appointment wait until you get your waiver outcome so that you can book your appointment if you have already booked an appointment without getting your waiver outcome reschedule or keep it as it is then after you get your waiver outcome you can reschedule to a next uh, to, to, to a, a new date um, if you haven't applied for a waiver but you are on the ZEP this is the time for you to apply for one await the outcome and then go and submit uh, for your general work visa uh, then the other option is for you to apply for a ZEP extension which expires of course next year on the 28th of November I hope I'm clear then if you still have any questions please ask them underneath this video there is a comment section there or you can WhatsApp me on plus two seven nine six two three zero seven five. You just text, don't uh, phone, don't send a voice note unless and until you've requested and we said you can do that. Thank you very much. I hope this sets the record straight because there's been a lot of confusion and we were caught up in that because people were being sent away from VFS and we spoke to the staff at VFS and some staff at Home Affairs and they said that yes indeed people do not need anymore to apply for a general work visa but unfortunately that was not correct so if you had gone if you're one of those that had gone there to submit for your waiver and they tend you away please get in touch with us so that we get to know how many of you are involved and then get to direct uh, those messages to them and say we've got so many people that we turned away what do they do and then we'll come back to you and say what they said because you will know that sometimes they charge you yet it is them who would have directed you to go and apply for a general work visa but most of those that were turned away had stamps from vfs and those ones i think they're only safe but please just for uh data purposes please reach out to us and tell the tell us where in which uh, vfs office you attend away what did they say to you then we'll take it from there from there thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it